Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome again to our uh, live stream on this uh, other topic. How to write technical reports and specifications. So, uh, of course, uh, <coughs> maybe not everyone is uh, really uh, up to, you know, making uh, writing technical reports or specification. But uh, uh, later on, I will explain to you why uh, it is also important to be good at uh, uh, doing this. Uh, because uh, in our uh, uh, workplace usually um, the company will usually need somebody who can good write specification so uh, 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 we'll now uh, proceed to our um, invocation so uh, name father son of the spirit amen namang banal pinupuri ka namin at pinasasalamatan sa mga biyaya at sa tuloy tuloy mong paggabay sa amin maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na makapaglingkod sa aming mga kapatid at sa aming bayan Sana po magawa ito ay uh, magbibigay ng uh, dagdag na kalaman, kakayahan at kaunlaran ng bawat isa at para sa aming bayan. At sana po ay, uh, ay layo mo po kami sa mga sakit at sa kasasakuna, lalo na itong COVID. At sana ay uh, ang aming mga mahal sa buhay ay uh, uh, ligtas mo sila sa kapahamakan. Lahat pong ito ay uh, aming tinataas sa iyo, dakilang Ama, sa pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Amen. So, I'm Engineer William uh, Sintuan uh, and um, I've been uh, conducting this uh, technical uh, webinar uh, since about, uh, well of course, uh, we progressed much during this uh, later part of this pandemic. So, uh, uh, if there was something that uh, contributed to, uh, to my being uh, a lecturer is uh, this pandemic brought me to this uh, online lecturing. No? We've been accustomed before to just be conducting it face-to-face uh, -face with our uh, uh, with our listeners at the MEP Center in Quezon City, located uh, at the corner of Panay Avenue and um, EDSA. But today, uh, we can no longer conduct such kind of uh, uh, lecture. So, uh, it's good that we have this... Uh, social media of course we have facebook we have twitter we have linkedin uh, then of course uh, we have viber and of course we have this uh, youtube where uh, we can always upload our uh, uh, technical uh, presentation for free and anyone can uh, see it can join our uh, presentation our lectures no and even if they cannot they were not they could not catch the presentation they can still visit it uh, in their convenient time in the future no? so it's very convenient even if you are uh, you know if you if in your free time and you feel like uh, you don't know you don't want to waste your free time and uh, you can go you can visit my youtube youtube channel no and then just select, just watch, no? Of course, uh, I know there'll come a time when you will be uh, kang magsasawa rin, no? But uh, anyway, so uh, I know everything has come to pass, no? So anyway, so uh, I thank God for uh, uh, guiding me for this endeavor, which is unprecedented, no? Uh, I believe uh, we are one of the first to have used the, the YouTube uh, channel as a means of uh, extending knowledge and developing capacity for uh, younger professionals, okay? So, uh, um, technical uh, writing is so important. Uh, you're talking about uh, papers, communication, you're talking about uh, modules, you know, you have, you're talking about catalogs, brochures, you're talking about proposals, you're talking about uh, uh, what else? Software, computer, documents, comprehension, and so on. So many things, no? When you say technical writing, there are so many things that would come to your mind, no? So, uh, uh, like, if you are into business, you want to go to put up your company, how to prepare a proposal, right? How to, uh, sub how to make the proposal, how to make a technical report, or how to make an investigative report. 
how to make a, an inspection report, things like that. All of these are uh, part of technical writing. Okay, so here is the table of contents that I developed. What is technical writing? Okay, and then introduction and background. There's uh, writing technical report. So I give you some samples. Sample outline of a technical report. Writing scope of works. Then uh, samples of uh, technical specifications. Then I give. Uh, I'll be giving sample of mechanical uh, system specifications. Sample of plumbing sy sanitary system specifications. Sample of fire protection system specifications. Sample of electrical system specifications. Sample of uh, auxiliary or extra low voltage system specifications. And then I provided here in the last part uh, a. Uh, Sample supply contract. No? So, for those who have not been accustomed or have been uh, uh, doing this, then I believe this could help you uh, in in starting also a career in writing. No. Okay. So, what is technical writing? It is the type of everyday writing that surrounds us from the time we wake up until we climb in bed at night. No. So directions. And the thought page two, no? there are examples. No? The nutrition benefits of a cereal box, so it's another example. No? Business letters and catalogs, no? uh, brochures, things like that. And then they have written instructions for assembling a new product. So this is also a technical specification. No? And then tax receipts and notices, product safety information. So all of these kind are technical writing. Okay. As, in, as compared, of course, to legal writing, okay? So, how is technical specs writing different? The information is organized, presented, and communicated in a specific format. The writing is uh, concise, meaning very short, and clear, maliwanag, no? And accurate, okay? And uh, writing takes into account the audience needs biases and prior understanding the writing presents information to help readers solve the problem or gain a better understanding of a situation the writing conveys technical complex or specialized information in a way that is easy for a non-technical reader to understand so uh, when you do a uh, a writing a technical writing so uh, you sometimes you you uh, uh, make it to explain usually uh, like in engineering we usually make the technical uh, writing or technical specifications to complement uh, what is indicated in the drawings in the drawings it, it will mention usually uh, how it looks like pano itura di ba uh, makikita mo sometimes the length and the width and the height and maybe maybe an isometric right or some other details paano kinakabit no tornillo uh, whatever no o paano pagka welding paano pagka kakabit o kung uh, electrical naman yung paano paano saan tumatakbo yung mga wires mga connection wirings di ba so usually the technical specs or report or specs is a description of this no so nagko complement kasi kung minsan yung drawing hindi niya hindi natin kayang ipaliwanag lahat do no uh, although sabi naman natin a, a picture paints a thousand words so a drawing could also paint a thousand words so yun so it, dito papasok ngayon itong uh, pagsasalita o technical uh, writing no kaya makikita mo yung mga plano natin laging merong general notes and specification or construction notes ganyan kasi syempre yun yung nagpapaliwanag para maging klaro yung drawing o uh, ang isang uh, ang isang drawing na maraming paliwanag no explanation explanation ng mga ko ano eh yun ang tamang drawing kasi ibig sabihin yung babasa noon eh lalo niyang maliwanagan kung ano talagang intention nung nagdesign okay what clients employers say about uh, technical writing of course more than one-third of the employees in the Philippines 
top uh, companies are poorly trained in writing and cannot compose a coherent business response. So, if you remember kasi sa eskwelahan, meron tayong English, meron tayong mga uh, ibang subjects like Filipino and so on and so forth. Pero, eh, sa totoo lang, ang technical writing nakasulat sa English eh. So, sometimes some, some of the subjects that we learn or uh, yeah, we that are given in college, especially for technical people, eh, kulang. Cool yeah? Di ba kaya tuloy, pag-graduate natin, uh, hindi yung grammar natin medyo namamali-mali pa. Okay? So, ako naman, nung bata ako, para masanay ako, eh, uh, nag naggagawa ako ng mga crossword puzzles, no? yun, yun ang mga isang ginagawa ko nun para yung aking uh, vocabulario, yung aking uh, pagsusulat eh, ma-improve, no? At ang isang uh, nagagawa ko pa dati, nung ako'y binata pa eh, yung magsusulat ng love letters eh, yun, napapractice ko nun kung meron akong liligawan okay, so, anyway report from a well-known engineering consulting firm so, ito yung report nila, no? a three-part foundation needed on the job needs basic skills no? basic skills to read, write, perform mathematical operations listens and speaks okay. then another is thinking skills thinks creatively, makes decision solves problems visualizes know how to learn and reasons no? then ang um, third uh, na kailangan is uh, personal qualities like uh, the display of responsibility, self-esteem, sociability, self-management, and of course integrity and honesty. So, yan yung mga tatlong kailanganin. So, take, take note in number one, basic skills na dyan yung read, write, read and write, uh, of course, and then listen and speak. So, it's more of communication, okay? Then, uh, thinking skills, again, alam mo, think technical na naman yung panito. Okay, further, the report says, five workplace, workplace comp competencies. No? Number one is resources. Identifies, organizes, plans, and allocates resources. No? And then, of course, uh, interpersonal works with others. Kailangan mausay tayo makipaghalubilo sa mga kasama natin, no? Magaling ka nga, pero hindi mo naman may express yung idea mo, no? Sa kasama mo. So, may problema ka. Information. Acquires and uses information. So, ikaw dapat, magaling ka rin mag, ano, mag research So, mabuti ngayon, we already have the Google where you can easily do research, no? You know, during our time, nako, we have to go to the library and, and read books, we refer to the encyclopedias, no? Kapal-kapal na encyclopedia. At uh, magalungkat ka ng mga nagawa na dati ng mga specifications. O, eh, ngayon, madali-dali talaga dahil sa Google, punta ka lang doon and then hanapin mo. Of course, uh, kailangan malakas lang, mabilis lang ang internet mo. Kasi kung mahina, eh, nako, abutin ka ng samsyam para mabuklat mo, makita mo yung mga gusto mong malaman, no? Okay. Systems. Understands complex interrelationship. Okay. And then, technology works with a variety of technologies. Ha? Sa ngayon, syempre, nandyan ang sinasabi ko kanina. Nandyan ang AutoCAD. Eh, nung araw, draftsman, magdo-drawing ka sa table, no? Dra drafting table. At, uh, nandyan yung mga multitasking sa computer, di ba? Sa kaya, magaling. Iba na talaga yung panahon kaysa nung unang panahon no? okay. so we have to maximize uh, the utilization of uh, technology ha? dyan ang mga GPS and dyan yung mga softwares ha? okay so further the report says possessing basic writing skills means the practitioners or engineers or architects need to communicate thoughts ideas, information and messages in writing and create documents such as letters, directions, manuals, reports, graphs, and flowcharts. Of course, ngayon, nandyan na yung mga YouTube videos. 
pwede ka nang gumawa rin ng parang gabay, no? Para pa, para maituro mo kung paano. Okay? Dati kasi drawing lang uh, three-dimensional uh, the the plan length and width and then yung depth. Oh, di ba? So kaya dumating yung isometric. Eh ngayon, tapos gagawa mo ng kwento, tapos ngayon meron na itong uh, video. Kaya ang galing, no? Okay? So, one of the aims of uh, the Marvelous Map Center, no? uh, nasabi natin to nung uh, last year, the Marvelous uh, Map Center need to train young practitioners, professionals to communicate essential information effectively via email, right proposals to obtain new business communicate key instructions to colleagues or convey policies to clients and customers so uh, yung ating MEPFS uh, or MEPF organization of the Philippines ay talagang uh, ang aming intention ay magbigay ng uh, ganitong uh, uh, kakayahan kapasidad sa lahat ng may gustong matuto no kasi Ang alternatibo ay eh, pumunta ka sa eskwelahan, di ba? Mag-enroll ka. Eh kaso, sabi ko nga, nangyari itong pandemic. So, hindi na pwede, no? Uh, sa, sa totoo lang, magsisimula pa lang itong uh, buwan na ito yung uh, enrollment ulit. At siguro magsisimula ang mga klase next month. So, apektado yung mga normal na paraan na pag-aaral, di ba? Alam naman natin kung paano na, na paano ang desisyon ng ating gobyerno sa uh, DepEd kung paano nila tuturuan yung mga bata natin mga uh, mga kinder grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 di ba? hanggang sa high school no? so tayo rin ganito ang ginagawa natin no? so the Marvelous Maps siguro balang araw itong Marvelous eh, itong Map Center eh, baka maging uh, ano rin to uh, parang distance learning alam nyo ba eh, meron yung distance learning din nung araw kalimutan ko lang yung pangalan niya pero yun lang pero communication siya no padala ka sulat padala ka ng mga exam tatapusin mo sa submit mo gagamit ka nun ng post office ganun eh ngayon hindi na kasi kailangan mo na nga lang itong online online di ba so technical specs writing is a natural partner to academic writing it is descriptive creative and expository but the format is different and the standards are higher. Technical writing requires 100% accuracy. Of course, eh, hindi naman tayo perfect. Minsan nagkakamali. Pero we should strive to uh, edit or correct yung ginagawa natin. Binabalikan natin, nire-review na ako. Kunyari, nag-post ako sa Facebook, binabalikan ko yun eh, ine-edit ko. Ha? Kasi, siyempre, kumisan, di mo nakikita. At saka kumisan, ito naman si smartphone kasi pag pindot mo ng pagpindot eh ina-assume niya na sasabi mo ganoon namamali eh, pag di mo na binalikan mali na yung nakasulat so yun ah uh, kailangan babalik-balikan mo para makita mo ano tama ba yung naisulat mo hindi no ganoon okay how do you use technical specs writing oh, well in career and in technical education no ah uh, Cluster, engineering, technical, and then of course, business and marketing. In engineering technical, ayan, ito na nga yung paggagawa ng drawing, paggagawa ng specification, paggagawa ng mga bill of quantities, uh, and so on and so forth. No? At sa business naman, yung paggagawa ng mga proposal, paggagawa ng mga quotation, di ba? At instruction, ganyan, no? tingnan natin ha. Engineering and technical observation report proposals letter of inquiry interview brochure action plan progress report atong ah, progress report laging ginagawa to sa construction eh training manual oh nako ito rin no instructions estimates audit report atong ah, L audit madalas gamitin natin sa engineering work order Okay. Sabi sa business naman marketing, observation report, brochure, proposal, training manual, halos pareho eh. Newsletter, progress report, business plan, marketing plan, publication, contract review, of course, yung proposal na sinasabi ko kanina, 
Pag quotation, di ba? Yan. Professional writing as a career choice. You know, there are these copywriters. They develop marketing and advertising content. Itong mga copywriters. No? Then, uh, public relations. Ito, nagawa ko rin ito nung araw. Uh, when, during the construction of LRT2, naghanap itong uh, consultants ng uh, mga kapag uh, gawa ng uh, project engineering uh, public information or public relations. So, yun. Uh, palibasa tayo yun nun ang na-involve sa traffic engineering and management during construction ng LRT to na-involve tayo dyan. So, nung naghanap sila ng gagawa nitong public relations para magkaroon ng magandang uh, uh, unawa ang mga apektadong sektor nun dyan sa LRT, yun, itong mga jeepney drivers, etc. etc. No? Yan. So, Communications manage brand image and business communication. So, makikita mo yan, ginagamit, ginagamit ang gobyerno ngayon yan. Si, ma, makita nyo lagi si President Duterte. Nagkakandak siya ng, ano bang tago dyan? A command conference at naka-video, naka, naka, naka-live. Ha? O, sa mga nagdaan pa noon kasi, mga pangulo natin sa nagdaan, hindi sila ganyan eh. Di ba? Uh, nagmi-meeting lang yung mga dating pangulo at saka yung kabinete niya. Tapos, i-announce na lang nila yung o ano yung napagkasunduan nila si President Duterte at saka yung kabinete niya mismo nagsasalita dun at nakikita kaya tuloy lahat ng hindi pa na na napino na mga usapin dun nalalaman natin lahat pero maganda kasi eh, na-involve tayo sa decision making di ba ha na, nakakapagreklamo tayo kung hindi tayo sang ayon dun sa, sa pinag-usapan nila sa ano nila hindi katulad dati na yun lang Uh, kabinete at pangulo eh, sila lang ang nakakaano kaya siyempre oh, may pagka sabi ng iba may pagka yan si Duterte pero sa totoo lang yung ginagawa yung ganyan na open sa lahat eh habang nagsasalita siya doon nagsasalita sila nagkakaroon ng ano edukasyon sa mas marami ba diba? so yan kasama yan yan itong communication editors editors they review revise the work of others and plan publication content. So, yan sila mga editor ng mga diaryo, etc. Uh, yun, i, i, uh, pipiliin nila yung mga sinulat ng mga writers nila uh, sa mga diaryo. Pero, of course, ngayon, lahat can do it because of Facebook, di ba? Pwede ka nang gumawa ng sarili mong post. So, so eh, ako, siyempre, ginamit ko na rin yung Facebook ko para maging ma-communicate ko yung mga ginagawa ko kasi naniniwala ko na yung ginagawa ko sa araw-araw ay maaring makatulong, maka-influensya sa marami, di ba? Ganun ang ginagawa ko, no? Hindi ko sinasarili yung sistema ko. Gusto kong ibahagi para yung tao na nakakakita, oy, okay tong Juan ni Juan ah. O yun, di pwede mong gayahin, pwede mo ring improvein, di ba? Ganun ako. Okay? Technical writers, collaborate with other professionals to create revise client projects and translate technical information to lay audiences. Okay, so, ayan. So, again, yung technical writing. Multimedia specialist. Uh, ito naman yung mga, uh, ayan, na-involve dyan sa mga, uh, mga, uh, ano yan, mga TV, at uh, saka radio, ha? Uh, ayan, yung mga, uh, nandun sila sa TV, radio, at print, pero ngayon, nandyan ng social media, di ba? At, at ang dami natin pwedeng gamitin dyan para may ikalat natin yung mga ideya natin, di ba? Okay, product description, product comparison, magazine article, or a Facebook post. Ayan. So, ito yung sabi ko na kanina. No? Many new technological advances have been made in the way people listen to music. Uh, CD is compact disc replaced magnetic tapes no? and now the USB stick has replaced the CD because they are now more portable in the recent years the MP3 players have become very popular so nagbabago na nagbabago di ba? if you are a consumer advocate you may investigate which of these devices is the best value you may write an article in social media Ah, ayan, yung ginagawa ko. Or in Facebook, which you express your findings and recommend one of these products to the reader. So, yan, kaya mo yan. Doon, masasanay ka ngayon na magsusulat, magsusulat, na magsusulat. Okay? 
Okay. Again, sabi nga nila 100% accuracy ang kailangan para medyo ano and correctness is expected. So they expect na tama yung nilalagay mo. Uh, unless na informal lang sulat mo taga-Tagalog ganun. So then they, hindi ka hanapan na maliwan. Pag nag-English ka, hahanapan ka na dapat perfect. Perfect na English, okay? So quality of a good technical writing. Planning, clarity, brevity maiksi. Simplicity, simple lang siya, hindi mo pa ikot-ikot. Word choice, active voice, no? Kasi may passive voice, may active voice. Committing to write a say. Yeah. So, so planning, thinking, yung planning, thinking yan, yung pinag-isipan mo ni sulat mo. And then writing it, and then revising it. So, take note, ha? I-re-revise mo, tapos tignan mo kung magtugman dun sa una mong naisip, balikan mo na naman, susulat mo na naman, revise na naman, hanggang Siguro nakatatlo, apat na ikot ka Ayan, okay na Pero pwede mo pa rin balikan Kasi nga kung minsan, maaaring meron kang dinakita diba? Disengage writers Technical aspects uh, Specs writing widens the spheres Or the sphere of professionals Practitioners Who use higher order thinking And writing skills To include others who might not have Learned these skills through Literary response writing Infusing workplace skills and standards into traditional lectures or seminars raises expectations and gives professionals, practitioners, an opportunity to excel. So, ito yung ginagawa natin. Ha? So, binabahagi natin itong mga kon natin ha, via YouTube, hoping na uh, every one of you will also improve. And then, of course, like yung sinasabi na yung eventual Uh, beneficiary yung ating bansa, yung bayan natin, di ba? Kasi kung maraming matututo, maraming magiging mas mausay, magiging mas magaling, abay, di lamang tayo. Kasi kung mag-abroad yung mga Pinoy, abay, mas magagaling. Mas magagaling sila. Di ba? Eh, lalong lalo na lamang tayo na, lamang na tayo sa English. Uh, yan ang isang lamang na dahil uh, umalis, nawala tayo sa Kastila, pumunta tayo sa Amerika, sa pagkakulonya, Yun yung bentahin natin. Mantahin mo kung naiwan tayo sa Japan. Pag Japan siguro, di, hindi tayo masyado magaling mag-English. Pero siguro, disiplina naman sana binahagi ng mga Hapon. Di ba? Anyway, yung naibahagi ng mga Kastila, eh, yung madasalin tayo. No? Madasalin tayo. So, kung may mga problema, eh, ang tindi ng ating paniniwala na ma-overcome ma natin yung mga problema natin. So, now we go to technical report writing. And technical report looks like this one. So, pag may, pag uh, yung cover mo, nilagyan-lagyan mo ng mga ganyan, eh, maunawaan na technical yan, no? Uh, ibig sabihin, eh, more on uh, mechanical and dating. Kasi mga gear, mga gears itong, kwan, ano? Rotary gears, eh, no? Pag kuryente nilagay mo dyan, mukhang electrical and dating, no? Pag may tubig-tubig ka dyan, eh, parang uh, sanitary plumbing naman yun, di ba? Okay, definition of a technical report. Uh, technical reports present facts and conclusions about your designs and other projects. Typically, a technical report includes research about technical concepts as well as graphical depictions of designs and data. A technical report also follows a strict organization. Technical reports, engineers write technical reports also called engineering reports. No? Uh, alam niyo naman, yung magiging PE, gumagawa siya ng Technical Engineering Report or TER kung tawagin. At uh, i-defend niya yun sa Board of Electrical Engineering. Ganon din yung mga uh, magiging professional mechanical engineer. No? At uh, ganyan din yung intention natin doon sa uh, sinusulong natin na CREX. Ano ba yung CREX? Uh, ito yung Certified Renewable Energy Expert Practitioner sa solar ito. So CREX kasi yun, kailangan pag maging crex ka, expert ka sa kwan, kailangan gumawa ka ng project mo at gagawa ka ng technical report at isasubmit mo dun sa committee ide-defend mo ganoon din yung idea natin sa plumbing engineering uh, plumbing engineering course no? wala pa ngayon ng BS plumbing engineering kasi uh, ang, uh, ang meron lang dyan, sanitary engineering BS sanitary engineering, civil engineering di ba? Eh, ang daming nagre-review Pero yung level ng ano nila, nandun lang kung ano nandun sa uh, na National Plumbing Code o ano pang mga codes na. So, yung mga ibang area na related sa plumbing practice, 
na alam mo, alam niyo marami yan eh, nagsasanga-sanga yung plumbing eh. Ha? Uh, pati yung fire protection kasi pinasakop niya, inaabutan niya, sprinkler siya, kasi tubo rin yun eh. Ha? At uh, sabi mo na iskop ni sanitary yung tubig na malinis, hindi rin, si plumbing din kasi uh, siya yung gumagawa ng mga tubo-tubo para dumating sa gripo mo eh, eh, kung, eh kung madumi yan o, diba? okay, hindi pwede yun so kailangan uh, alam ni plumbing professional si master plumber, lahat ito diba? okay, so to communicate technical information conclusions about projects to customers managers, legal authority figures and other engineers okay Importance of technical report writing. Uh, many engineers spend between one third to one half of their work time engaged in technical writing. Example: they write proposals, regulations, manuals, procedures, requests. Uh, what is this? Technical report, progress report, emails, and memos. Okay. And parts of the of the report is uh, terms of reference. Aim of the report usually includes breakdown questions as as uh, or aspects look at limitations exclusions deadlines how many information report will be used to and then needs to be neutral can be used uh, can be used a sign off and form of a contract so yeah part of it no and technical types of technical reports include technical background report The background report is the hardest to define but the most commonly written. This type of technical report provides background on topic. For example, solar energy, global warming, CD-ROM technology, a medical problem, or a U.S. recycling activity. Then, of course, feasibility, recommendation, and evaluation report. A feasibility report tells whether a project is feasible, that is, whether it is practical, and technological technologically possible so yan medyo mga feasibility report mahahaba yan no then a recommendation report compares two or more alternatives and recommends one or if necessary none no okay and an evaluation or assessment report studies something in terms of its worth worth or value for example a college might investigate uh, the feasibility of giving every student an email address and putting many of the college functions online. So, yeah. So, itong point na ito, which bago pa the pandemic, nakasulat na sa aking PowerPoint, eh, tugmantog ba ngayon dito sa panahon ng pandemic? Kasi mag-online ka. Although, nung araw, andyan na yung mga online education ng UP, tsaka ibang eskwelahan. No? Pero, siyempre, Uh, mas gusto dati ng mga eskwelahan na face to face di ba? kasi syempre magbabayad ka ganyan. sa online kasi pwedeng mahack yung mga lessons so mamaya hindi na sila papasok sa'yo no? so at syempre yung mga physical aspect yung mga sports di ba? Yun. eh ngayon bawal yung mga sports di ba? hindi <laughs> pwede dahil sa mga distancing requirements social distancing okay Types of technical reports communication examples are annual report, books, computer hardware guides, magazines, newsletters, organizational manuals, scholarly articles and journal, software guides, technical reports. From front matter abstract. Oh, yung pinakang front matter mo daw ay no more than 200 words provides and in a nutshell description without providing underlying details contains no undefined symbols abbreviations or acronyms makes no reference by uh, number to any references or illustrative material so uh, yan yung abstract mo dapat maigsilang daw at uh, medyo binibigay niya yung uh, general description ng ano mo anong laman di ba front matter list of figures and tables A list of figures and tables helps the reader to locate illustrations, drawings, photographs, graphs, charts, and tables of information contained in the report. So, yeah, list of figures. This is just a sample. Uh, list of figures, list of tables. So, at least madali kang maghanap. Okay? Parang yung 
appendix o kaya yung glossary yeah di ba okay uh, characteristics of technical report writing uh, technical report writing is uh, is responsible use honest language use format honestly use direct simple expression and then credit order Introduction components, motivation, objective, scope, limitation, content, organization. The introduction, this report discusses, investigates, and illustrates. Okay. Concept, engineers spend a great deal of time writing technical reports to explain project information. Okay. What is good technical writing? Technical writing is a term that represents an increasing broad set of activities that are designed to communicate understandable information that can help people be productive. If the intended audience can perform an action or make a decision based on that information, then that writing can be considered good technical writing. Simplicity, use details wisely. Specific details are desirable, but be careful to balance detail with audience needs for clarity. Significance is more important. Okay. Many engineers want to provide as much specific detail as possible, but this can come at the expense of the reader's understanding and their main point. Okay. Say, say it once, avoid the redundancies. No? For example, the p-values are also significant as well. The p-values are also significant. Good example, the p-values are also significant. Yung kasing as well at saka yung also, eh, it means the same. Ha? Okay, another example. Bad example. The variables are all zero or one for all items except the critical item. No? Good example. The variables are zero or one for all items except the critical item. Eh, medyo mas mahirap. Ano? Ano why? Clarity. Define the unfamiliar. If you must abbreviate, Define the term in its first occurrence and put abbreviations in parentheses. Okay. Italize uh, first occurrence of a familiar terms and define them right away. Yun. Kunyari, sasabihin mo na uh, pisam. Minention mo pisam. Okay. Dapat i-mention mo muna yung buo. Philippine Society of United Master Plumbers open and close parentheses pisam. So, dun sa susunod, may mention muna PISAM kasi alam na na mention muna kasi sa unahan na yung PISAM is Philippine Society of United Master Plumbers so ganun yun okay clarity avoid jargon okay. iwasan daw yung mga kanto language no yung uh, itang uh, slang no jargon a vocabulary particular to a place of work no abbreviation or slang so iwasan yung slang um, audience familiarity with the topic determines appropriate use of jargon. Word choice. Avoid too many to be. Uh, bawal daw yung maraming to be. Na? For example, uh, is, was, where, has been, have been. No? Is, was, where, no? and then has been, have been. No? Avoid excessive words, which is slow comprehension of the main point. So, tingnan natin na. Ito. Uh, made arrangements for so pwede naman daw arrange na lang okay or made the decision pwede naman daw decided para maigsi na lang no? made the measurement of pwede daw measured na lang then perform the development of pwede develop na lang uh, then is working as expected works as expected so yan yung mga sample niya na sinasabi na kailangan pa iksihin mo lang okay? word choice pa rin category, nouns, verbs, adjectives adverbs, example uh, utilization functionality o oh, utilization, pwede daw use, use lang maigsi lang functionality, uh, feature daw ang facilitate cause uh, i-finalize mo nga you have to finalize it. You have to end it. Bagay uh, kumbinsan, you finalize is, uh, seems to be a little uh, more appropriate. Diba? Aforementioned. Pwede mong sabihin mention na lang. Diba? 
individualize. So, individual na lang daw. Okay. Firstly, secondly, so first, second na lang daw. First or second. Hindi na, hindi na firstly, hindi na secondly. Okay? Uh, here to four. Oh, pwede ng previous na lang daw. Pero okay pa rin itong uh, itong uh, nasa gitnang column. Ha? Pwede pa rin. Ha? In my own uh, pa na. Di ba? Eh, Okay, spelling and punctuation. Ang maganda nito, si Microsoft, yung ating MS Word, eh, meron na siyang checker. No? Microsoft Word has a spell, spelling checker. Use it. There is no reason to have spelling errors in your report as this simply indicates laziness. Okay, andyan din. Pagka naggagamit ka ng MS Word, ano, lalagyan niya ng kulay yun. Eh. Kulay red kung mali, spelling. Kulay blue kung medyo mali ang pagka pagkasunod-sunod, no? Okay? Uh, I do not expect your spelling to be perfect. No? Uh, but careful proofreading should eliminate 99% of spelling errors. So, yun ang sinasabi niya na, sinasabi nila na pwede mong gamitin yun at balik-balikan mo. Okay? Microsoft Word also has a grammar checker, although it does not work so well. But it cannot hurt to use it it might help you find errors in grammar. Yung kulay, ito yung sinasabi ko na ikukulay blue niya kung parang nakita niya na parang hindi tama yung grammar. Okay, commas need special attention. There are two main rules to use in a comma, no? in use of commas. First, comma should never be preceded with a space. Yun. Yung comma, dapat nakadikit siya sa uh, word. No? Pag kasi nabi mong uh, I am... Uh, I am so and so Kama Kailangan yung kama nakadikit dun sa last letter Nung Ano Yung Nasa unahan lang na ano, Sinulat diba? And there are two main roles To use kamas First Kama should never be preceded with space For instance The kama is In this sentence Is wrong Because it has a space In front of it Second Kamas Should always be followed With space Ayan. Pag nagkama ka, space po na. No? Mayroon mayro kasing sumusulat na naka-space na, kama, space. Oh, pangit. Hindi ho ganun. Okay? Then, for instance, the kama in this sentence is wrong because it does not have space after it. No? So, yun. Okay? Periods should always be following by exactly one space. No? For instance, this paragraph is wrong because the period at the end of the first sentence does not have a space following it. Okay? Some people like to use two spaces after a period. This is an anachronism. From the days of the typewriters, it is fine as long as you are consistent. If a parenthetical, uh, parenthetical phrase is at the end of a sentence, the period belongs outside the parenthesis, like this. No? So, ito, tingnan natin. Like this, parenthesis. However, if the entire sentence is parenthetical, the period belongs inside the parenthesis. Here is the example. So, yung, yung period nandun sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? Integers should usually be spelled out if they are less than 10 or if the number begins in a sentence, no? Integers should be written with numerals if they are a greater than 9. No? So, like for example, 19 out of 20 technical writers agree with this rule. So, yeah, 19 in, in words and then pwede na 20 in numbers na. No? Okay? So, yun ang ibig niya sabihin. Huwag kang magsimula na number na kagad itong 19. No? Okay? Writing is a process, no? Good writing doesn't happen overnight. It requires planning, drafting, rereading, revising, and editing. So, it's uh, perfecting it, no? Learning and improvement requires self-review. Peer review, subject matter, expert, feedback, and practice. So, you come up with a, with a first draft. Then again, you come with a revised draft and you come up with the final draft. So, ang sinasabi niya, at least, meron kang tatlong beses na uh, mag, mag gumawa ka, check mo, tapos mag-finalize ka. Okay? Executive summary. 
A summary of the whole report including important features, results, and conclusions. It should be written in plain English. It should be able to, to be read and understood independently of the main body of the report. It is often easiest to write after completing the rest of the report. So, nagagawa mo itong si Prognitive Summary pagka matapos mo na yung buong report. How to summarize? Summarize main arguments and again, check references are correct. So, tugma-tugma, no? Add in the subnotes and discussion points in the same color or as headings, no? Underline or put in the bold, in bold and the main points and discussions main points. Conclusion. Plan your project before you begin drafting. Understand basic qualities of good technical writing. Use the examples presented to guide you in your writing and revising process. Good writing is a habit that takes time to develop. Practice makes perfect. Again, like as kanina, sinabi ko na, uh, nung magsimula ako, crossword puzzle. Maganda rin yung, ano, yung larong uh, ang tawag dyan, yung mga letra-letra. Diba? Yun, pwede rin yun. Pero, kung minsan, kailangan mong may kalaro ka dun. Samantala si crossword puzzle, eh, pag dumating yung dyaryo, of course, wala nang dyaryo, no? I think, meron pa naman yata makuha sa internet na mga puzzle-puzzle, no? Appendices, ito yung huli na, no? Appendices, mga reference to, no? Appendices include information that is too large to fit within your report. Yet, information necessary to your report. No? For example, large graphics. O yung mga drawing-drawing, picture-picture, uh, etc. No? Computer printouts. Mapa. Mga mapang malalaki. No? Pwede mong iputol-putol. No? Or sample codes are best placed in the appendices. When making decisions about what to place in an appendix, consider whether or not the material interrupts the reading flow. For instance, Six pages of calculations would probably cause readers to lose their train of thought. Appendices always appear at the end of the report. Okay, so now we have a simple guide to making technical reports. Huh? Here, no? so but we before we continue with this uh, sample uh, guide for making a technical report, let's have a uh, short uh, break. And then, when we go back, uh, let's uh, check those who, have, uh, who are in the chat box. Please uh, post your comments so that we can uh, we can uh, answer your questions. Okay.
Okay, so we are back. Uh, let me see if we have... Uh, Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh -huh. so uh, we have JV Alinor Bondok. Good evening, sir. Good evening, and Alfred Jam. Good evening, Mark R. Belsingson. Good evening, watching po ulit. Thank you, Ma Mirosol Villa. Good evening, sir Will, and to everyone, Joel Barnakea. Good evening, sir. London sisters, uh, uh, Roel London. Yeah, Roel. Good evening. Julius Ruiz, good evening. So, uh, JC G, good evening. Uh, Reman Sopan, good evening. Thumbs up signs. And, and then, uh, Howard Consulting, message retracted. John Docos, good evening to everyone. Uh, Howard Consulting, good evening, Sir Will. Martin here from Baguio City. You mentioned about cracks. What organization will be responsible and when it when it will be launched uh, we are with regards to the cracks program of the MEPF organization of the Philippines uh, it, it is already on batch number 4 no? batch 4 na yon, we have started it uh, I think about almost more than uh, 2 years ago we had the first batch, second batch, third batch and now we are having the first that's the fourth batch no? the only problem with the group is that uh, uh, they have difficulty writing the the technical report uh, of the project so uh, before they had the problem of uh, doing the project installing a solar uh, setup so they cannot write it then later on they were able to uh, ika nga nag, nag ambagan sila para makabili ng mga solar panel inverter charge controller tsaka mga iba pang pyesa nung nakabuo naman sila Nahirapan naman sila gumawa ng technical report. No? So, yun naman naging problema. Kaya hindi nila nabuo. So, ngayon, nag-offer ulit ako ng batch number 4, yung mga dating nandun sa una na gustong maka-avail. Kaya ito, lagi kong ginigli itong uh, how to write the technical report. Kasi, tandaan natin, kaming mga PE, hindi kami naging PE hanggat hindi, hindi kami nakagawa ng technical report. No? Yun. So, ganun din yung mga PME. No? Uh, yan. Uh, of course, sa eskwelahan, ginagawa rin natin yan. Meron tayong tinatawag na na thesis, di ba? Sa, sa school, no? So, yun. So, mara marami sa ating mga nakatapos sa school, sa ak akadim, eh, gumawa ng technical report sa school. Pero, siyempre, dun sa eskwelahan, masyadong simple lang. Kasi, bukis-bukis, yung isang kopya-kopya yung mga magkaklase, di ba? Pero, ngayon dito, actual na. Actual dapat. Meron ka dapat gagawin gabay. Talagang dapat parang ang gumagawa ng libro. Okay. Para balang araw, pag tinanong ka ano ba nang kuha mo na yan, meron kang may pagmalaki na nagawa mo. Na like, ikaw na gumawa, klarong klaro. At kung may tinanong sila sa laman nun, masasagot mo kasi ikaw mismo gumawa. Okay? So, tingnan ulit natin yung ibang uh, tanong. Ayan. So, na, sana nasagot ko Howard, no? Ha? Christian Allen Hernandez, good evening, sir. Will and to everyone. Okay, going back to the cracks, uh, Howard. No, uh, it's ongoing. You can check it in uh, in my Facebook. You can PM me also. You can send me private messages. Message so I so that I could give you uh, the the scope. No, ano ba yung kasama rito sa, para maging cracks? No, okay. So, um, wala pang naggagawa nito kasi punta ka sa UP. Sino ba nang man? Meron ba silang program sa UP? Meron ba sila sa TESDA? O yung ating Professional Regulation Commission? Meron ba? Eh, ang meron lang sa mga ano na yan, kunyari, kung sa PRC, Electrical Engineering, di ba? O Electronics Engineering. Yung sinasabi kong solar, yung talagang aaralin mo lang yung mga pagkakabit ng solar, 
eh wala pang ganun eh. Yung mga curriculum nga natin, wala pa. Yung curriculum sa electrical, nandun pa siya sa uh, transmission line, mga kung ano nung mga kwan. Wala pa yung sa bubungan. Ha? Hindi pa siya naka uh, nabigyan ng uh, malaking kwan sa bubu sa sa atin sa pag-aaral. Pero marami nang gumagamit niyan, di ba? Okay, so Anyway, chine-check ko lang dito sa aking smartphone at uh, ayaw lumabas yung uh, ano ko. Siguro, uh, anyway, so, okay, so, uh, let's continue on para, kung ano, ha? Oh, sorry. Uh, there, okay. So, here, we have here a sample guide for writing a technical report. Ito yung sa CREX, eh. So, kaya isinample ko na rito, no? Technical report on the planning, designing, estimating, procurement, supervision, installation, testing and commissioning, turnover, operation and maintenance of a solar rooftop power supply system. So, ito na yung kwan power, no? Uh, ito yung intention ko na magkaroon ng cracks, no? Kailangan yung ano, magiging cracks, certified renewed, renewable energy expert practitioner. Uh, kwan. Eh, dapat makagawa siya ng ganitong libro no? uh, so yung project mo dapat either on grid off grid or hybrid type at ayan, specified ang kilowatts etc no? at sino may ari saan ang lugar at uh, sasubmit mo dun sa amin, MEPF Organization of the Philippines Solar Engineering Department at uh, ayan ang pangalan mo kunyari Rodrigo Roa Duterte M E E E M P M E P F Crex. Oh, so sabi mo Crex ka na no. Anyway, so so ayan sample ah. Then we go to the next slide. Ito ngayon yung table of contents niya no. Section 1 background, section 2 justification of the report, section 3 results of site survey inspection, section 4 Preparation of design, uh, plans, diagrams, uh, section 5, design analysis, design calculations, discussions. Section 6, proposed components, recommendations. And then 7, section 7, bill of quantities, cost estimates. Section 8, project implementation, project schedule, or okay, bar chart. Okay. Uh, section 9, Installation, Testing, Commissioning, and Turnover. Section 10, Monitoring the Performance and of the Installed System. Section 11, Suggested Operation and Maintenance Guidelines. Section 12, Conclusions. Kung anong masasabi mo, no? Appendix, ito na yung mga references. Okay, so we go to the... Uh, Description of each section, no? so general description. Don sa background of the project, this initial part describes the proposed project, including the trends in solar rooftops, the advantages and disadvantages of solar, the future possibilities, and others. Okay. Section two. Uh, justification of the project Bakit kailangan Yung proyekto na yan uh, ROI is the return on investment Return on investment and payback no? This section describes The initial estimated Kilowatt capacity of the project The ballpark cost estimate Based on the initial data Such as the average monthly electric bill The projected annual savings The return on investment or ROI and the payback period. Yan. So, din describe yun, nakasulat. Okay. Section 2. Section 3. Results of site survey inspection. This section describes the location of the project, the availability of reference plans such as architectural layouts, roofing plans, electrical as-built plans, etc. The, the orientation of the house, building, the configuration of the rooftop, the available area for mounting the panels, the possible location of the inverter, and the possible location of batteries, if needed. No? 
the location of main electrical panel board or the nearest possible tapping point. And other details. Okay? So that's section 3. Section 4. Preparation of design plans diagrams. This section describes the proposed layout plan of the solar panels and the roof, the elevation section drawings, the electrical riser diagram, the full line connection diagram, all installation details, paths, structural support to be used for the panels, etc. All plans to be done in CAD, uh, CAD drafting, or similar format, in master paper size 11 by 17 or equivalent. All engineering design plans must be in full of compliance uh, of the latest edition of the code, applicable codes like the Philippine Electrical Code and the National and the National Building Code. Number five, design analysis, design calculations, discussions. This section describes all engineering analysis required and all load calculations using all available engineering formulas. To size up all wirings, cablings, conduits, as shown in the drawings, including protection, connection between the panels and the charge controllers, inverters between, uh, in, uh, between the uh, between the inverter and the existing AC panel board, between the charge controller, inverter, and the storage battery. Computation should be from the smallest string or group of main group. Same with the battery wirings if needed. Other physical data such as total weight of the panels, plus supports, total area of occupied by the panels, and the size of the and weight of the inverter, controllers, batteries if needed should also be indicated. So, nakalagay lahat dun sa libro mo. Section 6. Proposed components recommendation. This section describes the selected components of the solar power supply system. The types of models or brands that were sourced, canvas, and prices. And finally selected and the conjunction or justification in their final selection to complete the system. Okay. Section 7. Bill of quantities cost estimates. So, just uh, last uh, uh, Monday, we held this uh, uh, construction estimating uh, seminar, no webinar. So maybe you can, if you have not seen it, you can also visit it uh, in my YouTube channel. Okay, okay. This describes the complete bill of quantities, technical specifications, and cost estimates. What on? Napuna ako may may merong kama na wala sa lugar no ito dapat itong kama nakadikit daw diyan sa S okay okay and cost estimates of the required labor and materials tools and equipment components devices including consumables to complete the entire system so okay 8.0 project implementation project schedule or budget this, this section describes the proposed project scheduling including a project bar chart with an S card uh, preferably no? uh, are you familiar, familiar with an S card if you have probably gone through uh, project management seminars or construction ma uh, management seminars uh, yun malalaman mo kung ano yung S card na yan ano ba yung S card ang isang construction kasi usually parang letter S yung yung forma niya pa ganyan no mula rito kunyari mabagal umangat tapos biglang bibilis sa gitna tapos mabagal magpatapos ganun yung tinatawa ng, tinatawag na uh, progress ng trabaho kaya tinawag yung S-curve na yan okay. complete with all the main activities such as the start of the project pre preliminary designs specifications bill of quantities cost estimates design approval permit approval procurement, ordering, no? refabrication of supports, delivery, site mobilization, toolbox meeting, remember safety ito, toolbox meeting, site layouting, marking, panel installation, inverter installation, DC breaker installation, 
AC breaker installation, surge protect protective device installation, wirings from panels to inverters, inverter or SCC, wirings from the battery to the inverter, solar charge controller, wirings from the inverter to the existing panel board, testing and commissioning, turnover system to owner. Kung na-test mo na, gumagana na, turnover mo na kay owner. Papakita mo gumagana, ma'am, sir. Ito na po. Turnover instruction manual. So, meron ka dapat instruction manual ng mga fan, mga piyesa. Ay ba? Ha? Uh, or charge controller and to the owner. Yan. Section 8 yan. Section 9. Installation, testing, commissioning. This, this uh, section describes the sequential activities and the test results measurements including the installation, testing, and commissioning. It includes checking all tightness, testing the voltage output, its panel, testing the voltage output of its string of panels, testing of the voltage output of its battery, testing of the DC voltage output of the inverter, double check all, parang ulitin mo, no? Turn on AC for grid tie, check flow of supply voltage and current to the house panel. Yan. Section 10, monitoring the performance of the installed system. This section describes the monitoring done at the initial part of the energization of the project. Such as, monitor AC current output of inverter to house panel board using clamp ammeter. Monitor for 15 minutes, 30 minutes. So, isusulat mo yun, no? Okay? So, monitoring means, tinitignan mo yung progress ng paggana niya sa simula pa lang, no? O, hindi mo basta pwedeng iwanan na, no? Tetestingin mo, papakita mo na gumagana at susukatan mo ng sinusupply niyang power, no? Okay, section 11. Suggested operation and maintenance guidelines. This section describes the suggested operation and maintenance tips to the owner for the first few days of the operation of the system. So, sabi mo sa kanya, ma'am, ganito, kailangan malinis yan. Huwag natin pabayaan na madumi. Mga ganon, no? So, so, but, must be done in English, no? Okay, section 12. Conclusion. This last section describes the final comments, recommendations, suggestions, and conclusion of the writer author describing the significance of the solar rooftop project. So, alagay mo ron, uh, na ganito siya, ganyan, maganda siya dahil ganito, ganyan. So, may mention mo, no? Okay, appendix. This is now the last part of the, of the report. Important references pictures, photos, brochures, uh, listahan ng uh, mga pyesa, what, no? Uh, table of uh, graphs, and graphs, curves, okay. nota bene, NB, uh, parang additional, no? The final technical report in three copies shall be written in double space format using Times New Roman. So, may instruction ako rito, eh. Size 12, written on 8.5 by 11 band paper on one side only hardbound dark green color pare pareho ng ano sa ginagawa sa PEC ah PEE ha PEE technical report initial submission of the technical report for comments checking shall be in short folder bounded by a fastener in three copies yan so technical writing uh, ng uh, sample report ayan na so in the future kung meron kayong gagawin pwede ko kayong alalayan gabayan no pwede kayong mag-email sa akin tas ako naman magko-comment papadala ko sa inyo para makakuha nyo ngayon para madali it must be in word format okay so tignan din natin yung sample technical scope of words so bigay ako rito writing the scope of words when drafting the scope of words of a specific or specifications always use al available softwares such as MS Word or Microsoft by Microsoft. This software has an automatic grammar spelling checker. You may also use MS Excel 
PowerPoint, among others, in order to facilitate your technical writing job. Okay. So here, I give you some examples. Writing the scope of work. Ito sample lang. Scope of work. The work to be performed under this specification shall include but not limited to the supply of labor and supervision, tools and equipment, materials and consumables for the installation of the following. Mechanical works. Preparation of shop drawings for approval prior to installation. So, ano yung shop drawings? Eh, yung mga det detalyo, detalyadong drawing, no? det detailed drawings. Installation of split type air conditioner. Floor mounted air conditioning system. Complete with the piping and supports for letter B. Uh, B, B.1, the fourth floor. Including three units, five tanners, as shown in the drawings. So, so tinotog manya sa drawings. No? B point two, the fifth floor, including eight units of three tanners, as shown in the drawings. Then letter C, testing and commissioning. Plumbing sanitary works, preparation of shop drawings for approval prior to installation. In installation of hot and cold PPR polypropylene type water lines and PVC pipe drain waste bin waste bin ito yung kulay orange plumbing sanitary systems complete with fixtures pipes fittings and supports for the fourth floor as shown in the drawings B2 the fifth floor as shown in the drawings then testing and commissioning so ganun lang ha Fire protection works. Preparation of shop drawings for approval prior to insulation. Lagi mong isasama ito. Preparation of shop drawings. Para yung contractor mo sa site, bago siya gagawa, magsasabit mo na muna ng mga detalye. Uh, ng mga, Although may drawing ka, may construction drawings, gawa siya ng uh, additional pang augment. Ito yung pinipakita rito, yung mga sukat-sukat. Eh, no? Mga dista-distansya, Diba? So, detalyado dapat. Letter B, installation of complete automatic fire sprinkler system using BI pipes and fittings, gate valves, check valves, alarm check valves, etc. Et From the fire water tank, uh, fire pump, jockey pump, to the fire department connection, and to the various sprinkler nozzles as shown in the drawings. Then, letter C, testing and commissioning. For electrical works, Preparation of shop drawings for approval prior to installation. So, laging pagpagawa mo ng shop drawings sa uh, mechanical, mounting ng aircon siguro, ng condenser, electrical, mounting ng mga panel, service entrance, etc. etc. Fire protection, plumbing, kumpleto ka dapat. Okay? Installation of power distribution feeders for B1 feeder 1 from substation to low voltage switch gear number 3 to ammonia plant sample lang to ah motor control MCC motor control center room MP dash ammonia panel 1 yan yung pangalan ng room then 8 sets of 3 dash 250 mm squared 3 set cent plus 1 dash 50 mm squared 3 set cent for the feeder no in IP65 perforated cable tray. So, meaning to say outdoor type. IP65 is outdoor type. Then, uh, GI sheet as from uh, as shown in the drawings. Then, letter C, testing and commissioning. Okay, so, uh, again, let's have a short break before we proceed. Uh, I, like I said, no, those who are uh, or may want to get uh, some references of these sample technical specifications, I can uh, send you uh, via email uh, if you're going to request for it via my, uh, my emails. Okay, let's have a short break again.
Okay, so we are back again. Let me uh, let me see the chat box. Let's mute anybody or who is uh, just coming to our chat box. Okay, so we stop here and uh, Christian Allen Hernandez, good evening. Joseph Palon, magandang gabi po engineer. Salamat po sa panibagong kalaman. Yeah, two thumbs up. Uh, welcome Joseph. No? Erwin Buringot, good evening po sir. Yes, good evening. Chris Toreda, another additional knowledge from our mentor, Sir WJ. Thank you. You are very fortunate that you were here to share your technical knowledge so that we can share it as well in the future. God bless. Yes, God bless, uh, Chris. Charles Nunez, good evening, sir. Good evening, Charles. Okay, so now, let's proceed. Okay, so technical, writing the technical specifications. So now here, I'm showing you just some examples, which uh, they are very long. So my suggestion is, uh, any one of you, who will you will want to have a uh, reference on this, I can... Uh, send you an email together with this uh, uh, presentation no? so when you will when you will request i will send the pdf of this plus a, a, a word why it will be it's going to be a word file for this uh, specification so word file so that you can easily edit it no so madali yung baguhin so this is just a sample no you can always simplify it uh, it can be applied to uh, a five-story building could be applied to a three-story building of course you can simplify it no uh, uh, it can even bungalow siguro simply pagka bungalow lang is, is simplify mo no of course uh, so this in general uh, uh, specifications which you can easily modify uh, cut paste ka lang tanggal yung ayaw mong masama doon tanggalin mo madali na lang Pero kung sakaling malakihan project, ito meron ka nang magagamit, di ba? Okay, mechanical system, so here it is. Then, plumbing, meron din akong kasamang plumbing. And then, fire protection, so meron din ito, fire protection. Okay, and then, electrical. Ito, electrical naman. Okay, and then, extra low voltage, ito yung auxiliary. Ha? Auxiliary, okay. Tapos, ano pa? Ito na. So, yun na. Uh, mamaya, tignan ko kung kaya kong ipakita. Pero, ting tingin ko, ano eh, medyo mahirap siguro kung ikuan. Ano, ha? I don't know kung kayang tignan dito sa kwan. Kasi, uh, itong, itong ginagamit kong stream, eh, medyo, uh, itong stream lab, itong program ni stream lab, kailangan palitan ko pa yung, yung nakalagay dyan sa screen na yan. Ha? kailangan palitan ko pa yung screen na yan okay? so anyway uh, pwede ko naman bigyan kayo ng kopya para ma, ma, mabubuksan nyo later no? okay, so ituloy lang natin ito ngayon so naglagay lang ako dito ng sample equipment specification no? ganito ako gumawa kasi uh, 2.5 MBA transformer specifications Power transformer, kama 2,500 kVA, uh, OAFA. Ang ibig sabihin nito, uh, oil, oil, natural, uh, then uh, uh, force air, no? Uh, oil immersed, air cold, uh, uh, force air, air cold. Tapos 34,500 volts, delta connected primary, winding for. Uh, 400 to 30 volts then y, y connected secondary widening 3 phase mineral oil immersed with nitrogen gas blanket sealed tank type with offload top changer 2 taps above normal and 2 taps below normal with 3 high voltage and 3 low voltage bushings plus neutral bushing with protective devices, gauges, including winding temperature uh, gauge, top oil uh, temperature gauge, pressure vacuum gauge, and oil level gauge, all with adjustable setting alarm contacts. 
Open and close parenthesis, 1 NO plus 1 NC. Ang NO, ibig sabihin, normally open. NC, normally close. Uh, pressure relief device with standard accessories such as cooling radiators. Method with force air cooling fans with control box, oil sampling valve, skid base, steel rollers, lifting lugs, grounding lug, stainless steel nameplate, and complete with certified factory tests including transformer turns ratio test or TTR polarity test DC high path test or high potential test AC insulation power factor test insulation resistance test winding resistance test no load loss test exciting current test load losses and impedance voltage and oil dielectric test which shall be witnessed prior to shipment comma, manufactured under IEEE ANSI IEC standard so something like that so you just for your uh, uh, reference if ever you if you are an electrical practitioner and you are going to specify your transformer so writing uh, supply or contract agreements so here, my sample, no? So, company means blank, blank, blank. Uh, Philippines is uh, with respect to this, to its purchase orders. Supplier means, so you have to mention kung sino si supplier. Terms and conditions. Yan. So, uh, supplier agrees that the, yan. So, ito, mahaba rin to eh. Pero, pwede ko ka rin bigay dun sa, sa paghumingi kayo nito. Okay? So, ganyan ang style, ha? Yan. So, that's it. Tapos na. Ha? So, anyway, uh, tignan ko ngayon kung kaya kong i ipakita, no? Bawat isa doon sa kwan. Ha? Kasi, medyo merong gagawin dito si Streamlab, eh. Kung ano siya, no? Tignan natin, ha? Kung kaya kong, kaya kong ipakita si Streamlab. Aha. So, magkakaroon ako ng uh, window capture, eh. So, yung mga gustong magkuan, mag uh, tanong, please uh, mag-ano muna kayo, mag uh, um, Ito, binubuksan ko yung kuan eh para kuan ano. Say for example, uh, kumuha tayo fire protection specifications ha. Fire protection specification. Ayun. And then Aha. So wait lang ah. Makikita niyo later. Add source window capture. Aha. No, not this one. a new instead okay add new okay wait lang ha yun nakita ko na So, makikita nyo ngayon yung uh, sample ng specification. Iro-roll ko para makita nyo. Okay? So, uh, ayan. So, makikita nyo. Uh, ayan, iro-roll ko siya. Ayan, no? So, makikita nyo, technical spe specifications, fire protection works. Ayan, so, 
uh, page by page iro-roll natin para makikita niyo yung uh, paano siya no uh, materials ay nakalagay diyan materials uh, letter A materials no then letter B where to ang haba niyan so anyway so ito yung sinasabi kong pwede kong mga ibigay sa inyo so uh, fire protection mechanical air conditioning plumbing electrical auxiliary yan so yan so yan para para malang makita niyo no uh, yan so just uh, pagka ano just uh, mention to me to mag-email lang kayo baya yung emails ko no yung wiljjuan.engr@gmail.com yan ulitin ko ah wiljjuan.engr@gmail.com pwede rin yung isa yung wiljjuan254 wala walang dot ito no pag uh, Uh, Will J Juan W I L J J U A N two five four at Yahoo naman to at yao yung yung may two five four yahoo dot com yung dot e n g r at gmail dot com yan okay uh, single L yun na W I L pero da double J W I L J J U A N okay si Will J Juan parang ganon okay yan so kita niya yan ha uh, ba no so yan ya ngayon balik tayo yung tingnan ko kung kwan bubuksan ko yung isa pang file uh, let's say plumbing plumbing specs yan tingnan natin tingnan natin kung ano makita nyo nawala yung isa anyway so pinubuksan ko yung ano eh, yung plumbing sanitary specs eh nawala hindi nakita so kailangan i-ano ko ulit i-upload ko ulit window capture medyo iba kasi itong gamit ni, ni streamlab eh Anyway, so Hindi makita Anyway, so Anyway, so uh, Hindi niya makita Okay, so Ganun na lang uh, Yung mga Gustong makakuha ng copy please send me email sa Juan or pwede, ka rin, pwede rin kayo mag ano rito pero syempre mas mabilis kung mag send kayo ng email mas mabilis na ma-actionan ko kasi dun sa email kasi madali kong i-post ng i-post yung inyong mga hihilingin okay nakita nyo naman siguro dun sa mga dati ng, uh, ng hingi uh, it's, it's quite easier to uh, send you via email okay so ganoon tayo para pa. So ngayon, ah uh, tingnan natin, batiin natin ulit lahat ah. Yung mga nag uh, nag uh, nag post dito sa chat group natin. Si JB Alinor Bondok, si Alfred Jam, si Mark Arvel Singson, Mirasol Villa, I think uh, engineer Mirasol Villa is in uh, Bataan. Oh, by the way, uh, engineer Mirasol, we just uh, Uh, our team has just uh, I think printed your uh, your certificates no including uh, I think anime yata yun four for yourself and two for your uh, hobby no I, I think no? As, as far as I can remember your request okay thank you very much uh, uh, engineer Mirasol uh, Bilia no then Joel Bernakea 
Then uh, London sister Rowell uh, London. Good evening, Julius, JCG, uh, Reman Sopan, Howard, John Ducos, uh, Christian Allen Hernandez, Joseph Palon, Erwin Buringot, uh, Chris Tureda, and Charles Nonez. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm giving you uh, maybe one to two minutes more if you have any. Uh, comments okay i know i know uh, technical writing is not very um, uh, you know for many of you may not be so uh, uh, pleasing but uh, i i guess one of the reason why uh, your story have become uh, uh, a little i would say a little successful you know is because when i was younger when i worked with uh, with uh, pico in mindanao then i went to work with san miguel you know, in the in the design of the San Fernando San Fernando Brewery in nine, from 1979 to 1981, I was only uh, something like uh, let me check, uh, 79. I was only uh, in my middle twenties at the time, and I was already writing a lot of the specifications because we have to order so many equipment for the for the brewery in San Fernando, Pampanga, and then when I resigned from San Miguel. Uh, Beaver Brewery and went to work to Parsons International and I was involved with the Car Caltex refinery upgrading so I had to write more specifications again in, in Parsons I had a, an American boss so I was so blessed with having an American boss who can who would always uh, uh, na check in yung aking grammar mga panahon na yun wala pang, wala pang Microsoft Word eh. so Alam niyo ba na ginagawa namin specs noon? Susulat namin sa yellow paper using uh, pencil, ah? pencil kasi pwede mong burahin nung araw, okay? Uh, of course, may gabay ako, no? Tinitingnan, binabasa ko yung mga nagawa na then ipapattern ko ron. Ah, tapos yung nagawa ko sa yellow paper eh ipasa-xerox ko para ibigay ko dun sa amo kong uh, Amerikano para ma-check niya. Oh, popularan niya ngayon yung mga corrections. Kung minsan po, yung aking ginawa, pulbos na pulbos, daming dami talagang correction niya. Ha? Then after that, balik niya sa akin yung puro pula, kulay green na, yung yung mali, pula, yung kulay green, parang meron siyang mga suggestion na kuan ganun. Ganun. Tapos yun, babaguhin ko. Erase, erase, erase. Tapos pag nabago ko na, pag Xerox ulit ako para second check print namin. Oh, ganun. Pagka second check print, usually ko konti na lang yung mali, no? Meron meron pa rin siyang makikita. Tapos iba final ko na yan. Pag na final na at pina-check ko sa kanya, wala na siyang nakitang mali. Da, ibibigay na namin ito doon sa typing pool. Ah, uh, eh, taga-type no? meron kami yung mga secretary na walang ginawa kundi mag-type. Ganun nung araw eh. Tapos pag nag-type sila, i-edit na naman, pupunta sa akin, titingnan ko kung yung intent, yung pagkasulat ko ba in my own handwriting eh in the white in the yellow paper eh, nagtugma, di ba? So, i-edit ko naman yung ano, yung type tinype ng aming secretary yung typing pool, no? Secretarial pool. Okay? Pagka, after ng first, ano, kasi typewriter, magagaling mag-type yan eh. Binalik namin, na-correct na, balik ulit. Pag perfect na, dadaling ko na kay, kay senior, ano ko, yung American boss ko, no? Titignan niya. Kung minsan may nakikita pa siyang mali, no? so correct na naman. Pag wala na siyang makita, saka namin i-final na. See? Eh, ganun nung araw, typewriter. Eh, ngayon, mas mabilis na dahil sa mga gawa mo na nga dyan. Okay? So, ganun nung araw. So, iba talaga. So, dahil sa ganun naman, nasanay tayo na, na, na kung baga na-practice tayo. Ha? So, anyway, ngayon, mas kung di nyo man magawa yung ginawa ko nung araw, eh, Kayang-kaya nyo naman kasi ang dami naman nating paggagayahan, di ba? Ha? Madali ng manggaya ngayon. No? Kunin mo lang, pag-uwi mong konti, ayan na. Okay? Huwag mo lang basta diretsong kopyahin. Ha? Kailangan baguhin mo. Baka kasi yung, yung cover, eh, magkama, hindi mo pa mabago. Ha? Yung pangalan ko, may lagay mo. Ganun, dapat, ano, eh, dapat ikaw yung nakalagay doon na gumawa. Di ba? Pero konting mga revise-revise para naman index. Pwede mo rin baguhin yung font. Imbes na gamitin mo yung Times Roman, pwede kang gumamit ng ibang font, di ba? Huwag naman yung mga font na masyadong 
romantic, di ba? Ha? Kailangan niya yung formal. Itong times roman na po, yan ang popular na gamit ng marami kasi yan yung ginamit sa mga libro. No? Uh, of course, yung Arial pwede rin. Uh, Arial, uh, tsaka meron pang mga ibang maganda rin mga, mga font. Okay? So, yan. Ha? So, wala na yata ang comments. Ha? Last comment ni Charles Nonyes. Okay, so... Okay, so now, uh, kung wala na kayong comments, uh, okay, so now we're going to uh, finally, you know, okay, so thank you very much for joining us again. So we have our, uh, we have, uh, we will have now our uh, closing prayer. So in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, uh, we praise and thank you for allowing us to conduct again this. Uh, uh, live stream and the topic uh, how to write technical reports and specifications Lord God uh, uh, we ask that you continue to bless and guide us we ask that you continue to uh, protect our family and our loved ones we ask that you continue to provide for us our our work our means of livelihood our projects our uh, financial uh, uh, machines okay lord god uh, we ask that you continue to move us to the right direction keep us away from the sickness and from accidents lord all of this we ask in the mighty name of your son jesus christ who lives, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever amen okay so we have some last messages uh, uh jcg thanks sir and mirasol bilia thanks sir will yes boy still in batan project Dami ko po matutunan with your webinar. Yeah, thank you, Marisol. Okay. And uh, Ruel uh, London, thank you, sir, for a nice lecture. Welcome, uh, welcome, Ruel. Okay, so uh, again, uh, thank you very much. And uh, let us uh, keep ourselves healthy by eating the right food. Huh? And then, of course, uh, taking our vitamins. Ako, I take my vitamins in the morning and I also take it in the evening. No? Vitamin C, isa sa umaga, isa sa hapon. Then I have my uh, multivitamins in the morning, multivitamins also in the evening. Eh, ano na ako eh, I'm already a senior so I have to do it. Uh, kayo siguro, you can take in one so okay na siguro. Pero for me, I have to take it because you know I have to make myself really uh, be able to cope with what I'm doing today, especially this webinar. Okay? So, Last message from Alfred Hamilarin. Thank you, sir. Sir, till the next lecture. Yes, uh, till the next lecture. And another one, Christian Allen Hernandez. Thank you, sir. Hey, welcome, uh, Christian. Okay. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you very much. Uh, God bless everyone. Good evening.